I obviously grew up in a time where we had to wait for five years for a landline phone. Most of India didn't have access to phones, but mobile you know, enabled access to <coughs> most of the country's population with phones. Um, I think I think the internet was one such example, but with the AI, I think that's the promise, right? I think particularly at Google, we care about not just providing cutting edge AI, but we work so hard because we have products like Search to take AI and make it accessible to billions of people, right? And so, just imagine the power of AI mode, AI, uh, you know, how Search is transforming itself. That's going to be available available to everyone around the world. Someone in South Africa is going to get the same experience as someone here living in California. And I think that's an amazing thing. I think the next generation of kids are going to have access to uh, knowledge in a way uh, no generation has previously had. They are going to be able to create things in a way no generation before them has been, it's been possible. Right? If you can imagine, you'll be able to create something in the future. Right, so all of that is exciting. So I can't imagine a, a you know better opportunity with this AI technology than it. And you don't think they should chart their own paths in any area? So they should chart their own path in AI. Their own path. Uh, look, I this is there is always going to be uh, you know country specific needs. I would hope. South African government figures out how it can use AI in a way that improves services for its citizens. There will be local startups. One of the power of, remember, we are not just building consumer products. We are doing APIs. So entrepreneurs in Africa, in Indonesia, in India, in Brazil, they all can use these things, right? And, and, and that's the power, of, the power of the technology. And so hopefully innovation happens everywhere. Thank you.